welcome back to my channel, Illustrating Failure. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Janie and I'm just a new art school grad trying to make it in the world of freelancing and just trying to make it in the world in general. And so if you want to know a little bit more about me, you can check out my other video where I introduce the purpose of my channel, Illustrating Failure. For today's video, we have a studio tour! And I'm going to be showing our work area between my roommates and I. Um, we all share the same working space. And I'll also show a little bit about how our working areas have changed throughout the years. So I've been living here for, I think, almost five years now. And like, just, you know, our relationships, our interactions, and like, where we work have like, changed throughout the years. I don't have any footage from before, um, just because I didn't... I don't, I didn't do video stuff before, but I do have some pictures and I'll show you guys that as well. So yeah, stay tuned and let's get started on the tour. So this is my room. I used to work in here a lot, but nowadays I just work in the closet room. In the past, it used to look very much different from this. I actually used to have a double bed and that kind of made it very cramped for any sort of working. When COVID hit and we were all stuck working at home, I did like a major revamp of the space and so that it became like much uh, nicer to work in. And then... All right, so now we're gonna go into our studio space. Trying to not make my footage too shaky. Ta-da! So this is our studio space. Um, this actually used to be Lynn's um, old master bedroom. But then after COVID, uh, the pandemic and, you know, quarantine hit, um, we really like changed around the whole structure of our living and working space. And then she was generous enough to convert her um, master bedroom into a studio space and she moved into like a different room in the house and so the three of us have been working in this room for like several months now this is lynn's space it's a very beautiful and artistic you can this is a sneak peek into her process put that in your noggin this is some of lynn's art it's very beautiful. You should you should buy it because it's this is limited edition, man. She doesn't doesn't make these ones every day no more. Look, it's a texture. She's got all her friends art up. It's very beautiful. And then her books. And this is Charlotte's workspace. Um, it actually used to look different, but Charlotte's moving out. Actually, I think it's today. Charlotte's moving out today when I post this video. Uh, we'll all be very sad that she's leaving, but you know, good times don't always last. That's why you gotta cherish every moment with the people you have. And then this is Taro's little bed. And you know, sometimes it's messy. Sometimes we clean it up for him and his treasure trove of toys and then these are our plants um they will also be less soon because you know some of them are charlotte's <laughs> and this is a painting that the canvas used to be for a project um that lynn had in mind but then it didn't really pan out and it was just empty for like i would say over a year and then when Charlotte first moved in, um, we started like working on it for a bit, but then we like didn't touch it for like many months afterwards. And then recently like we decided to start it up again and I was gonna help more, but I've just been so busy that I haven't been able to contribute much. <laughs> I put in the outline of the dog, but this is like 99% Charlotte. She's so great. Look at, look at how beautiful this is. This is still a work in progress. I'm gonna post some of that vlog later, maybe. And then 
into my room. Ta da! Many ta da's. So, this is my office space. Um, this used to be like Lynn's walk in closet. Again, very generous of her to um, donate it to our house. And originally, I wasn't gonna like move into this studio space because um, I'm very bad at keeping myself distracted by distracting other people if I see them around me. So I usually need like some separation, like a door or something, so that um, I don't distract everyone and cause us to not work. And so I think it was like Charlotte who was like, oh, well, there's this closet right here. I want you to just move into the closet. And I was like, I don't know. And so in the beginning, I just like had a few things in there. But then I realized that the separation is actually um, really helpful in like focusing and keeping like my work and like my leisure separate. So then I just completely moved into this little room. And it's like a huge closet space. <laughs> And so you guys have seen it in my videos already, just like the backdrop. These pieces are actually from like a gallery piece that uh, we did at school with Tessar. And it was this like huge piece that I made like all these um, little elements for. And I kind of hoarded it after um, the gallery showing was finished. Even though like I'm like I have no space to put it, but then when I was redecorating this space, I like made use of it. So the moral of the story is that sometimes hoarding is useful. <laughs> AJ, don't kill me. Um, yeah. This is my wall of paintbrushes and like art supplies and stuff. I use a lot of different medias in my art and then it was kind of like getting out of hand um, my lack of organization for all my stuff and so I got this like shoe organizer rack and I just put like yogurt containers inside um, to hold my stuff and it's it's really useful to see like what you actually have in your arsenal to use. A lot of these prints and like decor and stuff is Lynn's decor that was already in her closet that I kind of now just am still using. I keep some of my books on this shelf. This is also Lynn's shelf. I actually don't have that much furniture that's mine. Um, Lynn has some good, good furniture around so that I didn't really need to um, purchase too much furniture when I moved in. This table here, this handy drafting table. Um, this is actually my other roommate, <laughs> Peter's table that he left behind. And so I snagged that table. And it's been very useful in this little room. And it's a drafting table, but yeah, I put my computer on it, so I can't exactly draft on it anymore, but whatever. I don't really do too much drawing now anyways these days. It's mostly like on my computer. And this is my scanner. I actually used Lynn's scanner for like the longest time and then yeah I decided it was time to get my own scanner because I do use it a lot and this is like a great scanner you know it was like decently priced and also like you know it's a good it's a good size <laughs> this is like a arm massager that my mom bought me it's pretty right and this is my box of snacks I have my gum I have some Indian snacks and I have some chocolate and some pork rinds, you know, for the snacky days and when I'm hungry. And like, oh my god, this is my tiger balm. It saves my life. I love my tiger balm. It feels so good on those sore muscles, man. And then this is my computer setup. Um, this is my ergonomic mouse. Um, my keyboard. And I have an ergonomic keyboard too. I also have this like arm support thing. Um, I think it helps in like keep giving my arm support um, when I need it because sometimes when I'm typing and stuff if I'm like levitating my arm it could be really straining and that's Lynn's garbage can that's a little fan I use in the summertime when it gets like really hot in this room um, I think that used to be Peter's too and then there's my Wacom tablet oh and there's my ergonomic keyboard 
The ergonomic stuff, I um, really, I didn't have any of this stuff before pandemic hit, but then like after when I was having a lot of like wrist and arm pain and stuff, I'm like, I need to invest in these things because I need to invest in my well-being because if it hurts to work, then nothing matters. So it's an investment. And these are some of my plants, as you guys have seen before. And like, here are some plant babies. Oh, and that's like a hat that I keep in here because at a certain time of the day, like this, like the sun would come through the window and just blind me. So I need it. And these are my cushions for this like um, kitchen chair that I sit on. Uh, this cushion has actually like been really good for my butt. And then this like other cushion adds extra support. And I'm like, at this point, I should have probably just purchased like a desk chair, but it's still cheaper than buying a nice chair. So I'm pretty happy with that setup. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed a little sneak peek into our workspace. And hopefully I can give you either some inspirations or just like satisfy some curiosity in um, how some random illustrators work and so as you guys can see our like workspace and like studio space have like always been changing um throughout the years and like even throughout like the past few weeks and i think the change is definitely a good thing because uh we change the way we work change and so rebuilding our space around uh what works best for us in our like workspace in terms of like each other in terms of you know even like our you know mental health um i think like just sometimes rearranging things to like better suit your needs can help put you into like a better frame of mind for working as well and so yeah if you like this video please remember to leave me a thumbs up and you can check out any of my other videos if you want to see more vlogs of like our day and lives. And also if you're curious about like my experience after art school. And so if you want to hang out more, just hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time on Illustrating Filia. Bye!